Hi, it's Finale. Today I'm going to be talking about summer style inspo, but actually it's been a little bit cooler and warmer somehow in New York. So it's going to be more like spring to summer clothes uh, because that's what the weather seems like it is now. First I have this oversized cream jacket from Mango in an extra small. I think this is great for layering and it seems like it's been a lot cooler in the mornings than the rest of the day. And so I think this is great for layering with an all neutral look, but also with jeans to do a denim on denim look. Next I have this oversized jacket from H&M in an extra small. This one is from last summer, but they have a similar one this year as well. And I think this is great, again, for layering in the morning um, when it's a little bit cooler over leggings and a t-shirt or even linen pants or linen shorts. It's a great uh, jacket for layering. Next I have this crop denim jacket from Abercrombie in an extra small. This is a great fit if you're shorter like me, it hits right at the waistband. I think it's great for more dressy casual looks because it's a little bit more fitted. You could even wear it to work and so it's great for layering again when it's a little bit cooler. So lately my rule of thumb has been to wear a lightweight denim jacket when the weather is in the 60s and if it's in the 70s or warmer I've been keeping a button down linen shirt with me sometimes to wear or just in my bag in case I'm going to be cold if it's inside in the air condition. So this one is from Zara. It's in an extra small. I'm 5'1". And so it's pretty oversized but I liked it so much that I had bought it in the white last summer and I bought it in this light brown color this summer just because I was wearing it so much and I just like the way it drapes an oversized fit. I also found that I was just wearing oversized um, linen shirts so much because I'm always cold when it's uh, inside in air conditioned that I picked up this striped one from Abercrombie and extra extra small. This also fits well. It's not as oversized as the Zara one. So if you're looking for something a little bit more fitted but still oversized, this Abercrombie one is a good one. And I got this H&M linen button down shirt in an extra small. And so this is oversized fit, but it's actually a little bit more fitted than the Abercrombie and Zara one, such that you could wear it alone. Um, it's less, not as good for layering and more for, to wear on its own, but it's an oversized look. So then when it's a little bit warmer, like maybe high 70s, low 80s, which is, this is really how I plan all my clothes based on the weather, um, because I cannot feel comfortable if I'm wearing the wrong outfit uh, for the weather. And so then uh, I bought this button down shirt from Abercrombie. It's an extra, extra small, and it's a short sleeved one. And so it's a good, it's also an oversized fit, but you can wear it on your on its own um, as a look if you're, you know, it's like, again, I would say high 70s, um, I would wear this. Next I got this linen shell. I think this is great for dressy casual looks from Abercrombie and an extra small. And so this I would wear if it was in the 80s or warmer because it's sleeveless and it's also linen so it'll be really breathable. So then for both layering when it's cooler um, with a denim jacket or linen button down and also on its own when it's 80s or higher, I have a lot of crop tops. I usually aim for crop tops, well it depends on the summer, but this summer I'm having crop tops that are more waist length, but they're still called crop tops um, because I'm short. So that's kind of the length I'm going for this summer. Um, this one is from Abercrombie. It's a size that's small. It's more fitted. So usually I'm an extra extra small in Abercrombie, but I got these in a small and it's their crop tank and I really like it. It's great for layering and they have it in a lot of different colors. So this is my current favorite um, crop top tank from Lululemon in a size 2. Unfortunately it doesn't come in a lot of colors or it recently hasn't been so I have it in white and black. But I find for hotter weather like 80s, 90s, hotter, um, if you're going to be outside and sweat a lot, this one um, washes really well and still tends to look new for a long time. And so that's why I like it because it's a good tank to sweat into and then wash and wear and wash and wear and it still looks new. So next I have these white straight leg jeans from J. Crew in a 26 petite. Um, so I love an all neutral look. And so I have um, white straight leg jeans that are actually from last year, but I think they have them this year too. And then I bought some cream jeans that are wide leg from Mango. But I think it's great to have either a white or cream jean in your wardrobe for the spring summertime when it's still a little bit cooler, 60s to 70s. Um, and I've been going more for straight leg and wide leg jeans this spring to summer. So I also like to have a few pairs of lighter color denim for the summer um, when it's again 60s to 70s and these are from Madewell in a 26 petite. I also bought some from Express recently and so I'll link to those but I also think this is great. A lighter you know blue color for the summer is great with a lot of neutrals and so it ends up matching a lot of things. And then I have these um, white pants from Abercrombie. I think a lot of people have these pants. These are their tailored pants in the crepe material and they're a 26 short. And so I like these. These have a little bit wider leg, although they're not the widest leg because I have those too. Um, but I think it's great to have a neutral pant for the summer, again, to do a lot of all neutral looks. And uh, this one is good for work or for a dressy casual look. 
So then this is the Abercrombie's tailored pant in the wide leg fit. The other one was the regular leg fit. And it's also a 26 short. And as you can tell, it is a little bit um, wider leg and it's a little looser fitting. And this is in the light brown color. I overall like to have a lot of neutrals. Um, so it mixes and matches with my whole wardrobe. And then I like to add more color to that, but I like my base wardrobe to be all neutrals just so that it gives you more options because everyone everything mixes and matches with each other. And then I have this pull-on pant from Maybell. So I'm a big fan of pull-on pants. Um, these are an extra small petite. I think these are great to travel in. I know a lot of people like to wear leggings when they travel, but a lot of times I think um, these types of pants are more efficient. Like if you're gonna be going somewhere right after you get off the plane or something like that, then um, I think it's a comfortable pant because it's like a waistband, elastic waistband, and it's a looser fit. And so I think this is really comfortable just to wear traveling. Um, or if you're you know, gonna be on the go, this is a great pant for that. Next I have this denim short from Express. It's a midi short short and a size two. And so this one I've been going more for midi shorts um, just because I've been liking the look with crop tops and like oversized jackets or button downs. And so I've been more into the midi shorts this year. Next, I got these shorts from Abercrombie. These are the tailored shorts, which I think are the shorts version of the pants, which I also really like. These are an extra small, and I think these are great for dressy and casual looks. Um, if you wear them with heels, you can dress them up. Or if you wear them with flats or sneakers, it's also a great casual look. Next, I have these linen shorts, which I think linen shorts are great for summer. I ended up not keeping any of the linen pants I bought so far um, because they were too wrinkly. Even though linen shorts get wrinkly, I feel like it's less square footage of wrinkles, um, whereas linen pants is a lot of square footage of wrinkles. So far, I haven't found any that weren't super wrinkly. Um, so I just got uh, linen shorts so far. And so these are a size zero from Madewell. And I really like, um, like I said before, I love light pink to rose colors, deep rose colors for the summer. And it goes great with neutrals as well and so that's why I love these shorts. And so if you've seen my other videos, so far I've only found some knit midi dresses and I wouldn't really wear that in weather past like maybe 70 degrees. So these are last year from Mango and I'm still looking for dresses like this that are more lightweight for this summer. Um, I like the midi dress right now because uh, sometimes I feel like, especially walking around in New York um, with the subway grates and all, if you're wearing a short dress, it goes flying everywhere. And so I like the midi dress a little bit more for more coverage. Um, and so I'm looking for dresses like this for these, this summer, but I have found them yet but this is this general style I like to keep a couple of neutral dresses that you can just throw on it's very easy it's easy to match and you can dress them up with heels or wear them with flats for a more casual look and I like to keep a cream and black dress in my uh, wardrobe for every summer and lastly I like to have a neutral romper in my closet too and so this is from last summer and the summer before I haven't found anything yet well I haven't really been looking because it hasn't been that hot in New York but I'm gonna start looking now so I'll let you know what I find um, but I think it's great because it's easy to throw on if the weather is like 80s 90s hotter um, this is a great thing to throw on and it still looks like an outfit like you put in some effort and so that's why I love having at least one good romper um, in my closet as far as accessories goes if you're gonna buy one bag I would say um, either a straw or crochet bag is what I would buy for the summer. This one is from Madewell and this one um, is from Zara. And so I think it's great for the summer. It goes great with neutrals. It's also great for vacation, for a vacation look. And so both straw and crochet are a great bag to buy for the summer. That's the end of my early summer style inspo video. Thanks for watching. I don't think, um, well, I know I'm working a lot this summer, so I don't think I'll have time to post a true summer style inspo video, but I'm gonna keep posting my hauls and YouTube shorts and then um, outfit inspo videos. And you guys can let me know in the comments what you prefer. Um, but hopefully I'll find more summer dresses because I feel like that's what everyone is looking for. Um, but I haven't seen a lot of good options yet, but it's also, I guess, pretty early. I'll see you guys next time.